giant water worms, snakes that fly through the trees, the new Loch Ness Monster, these are six terrifying snakes unknown to science. Number 6. Arabian Flying Snakes If snakes on their own are frightening creatures, how would you react if I told you that some snakes were able to fly? And what is more interesting, nowadays there are people in the Dofar area of southern Oman who believe in them. To know more about this monster, we have to come back in time, more concretely to the year 460 BC. Egyptian tales of flying snakes captured the curiosity of the Greek historian Herodotus. These winged dragons were said to live under frankincense trees in the Arabian desert, protecting them from intruders but also making it much more difficult for the owners of the trees to harvest the precious resin. To gather the incense, the Arabians burned styrax, resin of the liquid amber tree, because the smoke drove the winged snakes away. Herodotus described the flying reptiles as small with variegated markings, shaped like a water snake but with wing-like membranes like bat wings. Among the numerous passages that he wrote, some evidences about the possible existence of flying snakes have been found. In order to get more information about the flying snakes, he traveled to Butos, Arabia. There he marveled at the heaps of skeletons and spines in incalculable numbers. Some skeletons were large, others smaller, and others smaller still. Recent studies have shown that what Herodotus described as snakes with wings could be black glossy ibis, a bird which frequented the brackish Bitter Lakes region of dry salt valleys between Egypt and Sinai, now the Suez Canal. A more likely candidate would be an extinct relative of the now nearly extinct Waldrop, Gerontichus, northern bald ibis, but it's not clear. In spite of that, local people continue saying that flying snakes are real. For example, after the monsoon in 1987, a Dofari man was walking at night to his village near Tawia Ter and was using a torch when he spotted what he thought was a flying snake. In 1985, another local man believed he saw six or seven flying snakes in a wadi 20 kilometers east of Salala. He said they were about 20 centimeters long and jumped three meters from tree to tree. He did not see any wings on them, but he saw them jumping and making a noise similar to the buzz of a bee. One of this man's friends had reportedly killed one of these animals a year earlier. The true identity of the winged snakes of ancient Arabia remain a tantalizing unsolved enigma. Number 5. Ashops The Ashops is considered a version of the Loch Ness Monster that originated from Quebec, Canada. It was believed to live in the Ashop Mushan River, known to be full of northern pike, speckled trout, quananichi, sea trout, and a nearly 60-foot dragon-like serpent. The creature gets its name from the nearby Ashop Mushan River that drains into the lake. Sightings of a long, bluish-black serpent-like creature that is able to lift itself nearly three feet above the water was first officially reported in Lake St. Jean in the 1950s. Reports would often take on the classic serpent sighting requirements. A large dark body moving through the water out in the distance a noticeable long neck with a small dinosaur-like head resting upon it, and humps within the water, you cannot forget the humps. The most significant sightings of the serpent took place in 1978. While out on the water near Scott Point, a married couple witnessed a 50 to 60 foot creature swimming near the point. That same day, a First Nations family were violently tossed into the water when a large creature slammed into the bottom of their canoe. The terrified family quickly made work of climbing back into their canoe and making a break for shore. The creature was described the exact same way as previous reports. It was long, black, and serpentine. Sporadic sightings still appear in modern day, but they are few and far between. This leads many to speculate that the creature has died due to old age, or it has left the lake via one of the many rivers, only coming back every now and again. Number 4. Cressy You've heard of Nessie, the large marine creature believed by some people to inhabit Loch Ness, Scotland. But what about Newfoundland's Cressy? Cressy, as she's known to locals, is said to live in Crescent Lake in Robert's Arm, Notre Dame Bay, Canada. As well as the Ashops, this monster is frequently compared to the Loch Ness Monster. 
The monster has been described as resembling a large dark brown eel around 20 to 40 feet in length, 6 to 12 meters, with a long, sleek body with a fish-like head. However, there isn't photographs of Cressy, and all information relies on local oral history. According to local folklore, an elderly resident of Robert's Arm, known as Grandmother Anthony, was startled when berry picking by a giant serpent in the lake. It was first sighted in 1950 when two woodsmen were on the shores of the lake and noticed an upturned boat. Fearing for its occupants, they hurried towards it, but as they approached, the boat turned out to be something large and slick, which slipped below the waters of the lake. On July 9, 1991, Fred Parsons and his wife reported seeing a large snake-like creature swimming in Crescent Lake. It seemed to be just lying on the surface at the time I spotted it, said Parsons. There's no significant head as such. It's difficult to say that the head is significantly bigger than the rest of its body. Cressy is still actually spotted by people regularly. In one occasion, a group of scuba divers decided to brave the depths of the lake in order to find the famous eel, but they find themselves surrounded by a lot of eels. Their bodies were said to be about as thick as a man's thigh. The eels proceeded to attack them, and luckily the divers were able to retreat without getting injured. Many people think that these were maybe Cressy babies. What the townspeople all agree on is the benefit of a mysterious creature drawing curious visitors to their lake. Number 3. The Iceland Worm Monster The Iceland Worm Monster, or the Lagerflot Worm, is a giant worm-like creature that lives in the Icelandic lake of Lagerflot. We say lives because it has been recently seen. It is described as an animal longer than a football field, 200 feet long, 60 meters. Sometimes it is even reported as being as long as Lagerflot Lake itself. Its first reported sighting was in 1345, and its most recent sighting was in 2012, which either means these creatures have an extremely long lifespan, 700 plus years, or there is a small population living in the lake. Hjortur Kirov was responsible for recording the internationally famous video that shows a mysterious shape swimming through the cold waters of the glacial river Jakulsa i Flotsdal in East Iceland. The video went viral, attracting attention as far afield as Japan. Although it has since been debunked as fishing netting tangled in ice, in May 2012, the NBC show Fact or Faked Paranormal Files went in search of the worm, as did ABC News the following June. Shortly thereafter, the 13-person Truth Committee was established to verify or dismiss, once and for all, the existence of the worm. Surprisingly, the Truth Committee has concluded that the mythical Lagerflot worm sea monster is real. And what about you? Do you agree with the final decision? Number 2. Manipogo Manipogo has a special place in the world of monsters. Also named as the Winnipogo or Manitoba, is the name given to the lake monster reported to live in Lake Manitoba, Canada. The monster is thought to be anywhere from 12 feet to 50 feet long in length, 4 to 15 meters. It is described as being a long, muddy brown body with humps that show above the water and a sheep-like head. For more than 100 years, many people in Manitoba have said that they have actually seen some sort of creature swimming and rearing up out of various lakes and waterways in Manitoba. The main problem is, is that there isn't any really good scientific evidence. Locals and tourists have reported fairly consistently that it is a serpent beast from 4 to 15 meters long with a brownish black body and at least one hump that shows above the water. Its head is sometimes compared to that of a horse, camel, or sheep, while others have claimed it was flat and diamond-shaped. In addition, some people have also reported to have heard a shriek or cry as it surfaces. The first documented sighting took place in 1909 when Hudson's Bay Company fur trader Valentine McKay claimed to see a huge creature in Cedar Lake. This was only the beginning of a list of numerous sightings. In 1935, 1948, 1957, 1989, and more. The last one came in on 9 August 2012, when a report claimed that just offshore of the outlet at Twin Beach Road, something surfaced twice, showing a scaled sawtooth jagged back like that of a giant sturgeon. 
We don't know what appearance the Manapogo has, but what is clear is that there is something strange lurking in Lake Manitoba as 12 sightings have been documented since 1909. It sounds scary. Number 1. Alia River Monster The Alia River Monster is a three-headed aquatic monster from Alia River, the river that runs through the French countryside and is said to be the home of one of the most unique cryptids ever chronicled. While there has been only one reported sighting of this three-headed beast, the fact is that it is so bizarre in appearance it seems less like a terrestrial creature and more like one from mythology. The only known report of this creature ranged from 1933 to 1934 and described a monstrous black Cerberus-like beast, a massive hound with three heads that has been used in many forms of literature and in other media such as video games. Although the evidence in this case is admittedly scarce, there are lots of legends hailing from all over Europe concerning all manner of cryptids like Nessie, Kraken, and more lake monsters. So why should we think that this strange creature doesn't exist? Whereas gods and ghosts are purely spiritual, lake monsters are another matter, a subject which offers itself to scientific examination. Modern technology makes it possible to penetrate even the deepest waters in search of proof of the existence of these monsters which have fired the imagination of locals and visitors alike. Do they really exist, or are they only a product of fantasy? The snakes shown in this video are only a small part of those that possibly exist in the world. If you want to know more about strange snakes, I invite you to watch this video.